Hello, we are here for one more lesson of this AutoCAD 2016 training course. And the topic for today will be complex 3D surfaces. So the idea in this lesson is to show you the creation of a part. We will see some concepts that instead of explaining uh, isolated, I will show you doing a part. So this will be a mix between surfaces solid, 3D polylines. So, uh, I hope uh, it's a good example to show you some possibilities with the surfaces, being the surfaces an entity uh, with a little more freedom to work. So first I will create um, two rectangles. Um, so first one that will be a base for our uh, model. And the uh, second one, a little bigger, that will be our top of this uh, model. Uh, now I will move it, the big one, to the top. So we have one on top of the other. So let me create uh, a couple of lines connecting the edges and we'll have a uh, 2D, uh, 3D, sorry, uh, wireframe structure with lines only. Okay, now I will create uh, a 3D polyline uh, and I can call it by this 3P shortcut and I will make something like this. and closing uh, I will change it color because uh, in, it will be a little confused um, in a couple of moments so again another one uh, 3p okay and also, um, I will change color. This one, in particular, to green. Okay? Very nice. So now I will create a couple of arcs in each of the faces of this wireframe. And for that purpose, I need to place my UCS in each of the sides and I will create uh, the arcs with this function start end direction so start and sorry something missed okay one it is done I can come to the back so again, UCS position on the face of my solid and my arc. So in here, in here, and okay, down. Very nice. Uh, now on this side. So position okay and again for the arc this one this one and I don't want to have uh, problematic arc so I will use something like this okay perfect and finally, I will create a last UCS in here, okay, and create the arc. From here to here, okay, 
opposite direction so in here to here and also something like this perfect so UCS will go to its global position and as you can see I have four arcs which I will use now to go to surface and from this loft command choose the cross sections and confirming now giving the guides and I can click this one and this one okay create my surface very nice okay uh, now I want to create a solid and I have a function that is called thicken I can choose my surface and I can make uh, give the thickness of 0.1 for example okay so I have it done um, now I want to create um, another solid from the top to the base but first I need to make a round uh, I can for example exaggerate a little and create a radius of 100 and I can select the polyline this one and again polyline on the base this one I can delete my vertical lines I don't need them anymore okay and also this one here and I will create another solid called uh, loft from here to here and okay nice solid two solids that should have some kind of intersection so I have also a function here called interfere that allow me to select two sets of objects this one and this one and uh, this solid created uh, a surface okay and okay created uh, an interference solid that is like this one I have okay um, now I will delete my uh, arcs these uh, white ones I don't need them also anymore just to clear a little my drawing okay clear and uh, I will uh, explode my polylines first I can create a new layer um, I can create a new layer to pass this entity there uh, I can create a new layer call it layer 1 no problem I will make it off and uh, with the properties I can select this entity positioning it on the layer 1 so that I clear my my view so I have these entities here which are 3d polylines as you remember so I can explode them both okay now they are single lines and I can make fillets using the multiple option so just filleting the edges so something nice shape and I can use also this shape on the red one so from this to this from this to this and I can make finally um, a small circle uh, for example uh, radius 5 and I can make a path 
doesn't matter the position um, where I can say for example okay this this kind of thing the idea now is to create a solid now instead of loft doing a sweep because I can select uh, I need to explode this uh, array sorry uh, but again I can make a sweep I can use one of, one of the objects and start selecting uh, because all of them are equal so I can do I will use uh, only one of these um, one of these uh, entities to avoid losing too much time doing the same so I can create uh, a path and then as you understand I could um, so this is one entity I could do the other also the same and basically the idea with this was let me turn this on so uh, I could have probably the radius is not so properly defined but the idea was to have a kind of a chair um, using different techniques uh, surfaces, solids, uh, creating intersections, 3D polylines and uh, I think these, uh, all these functions show you a little some of the possibilities we have with these uh, surface solids uh, mix techniques.